Hey guys, what's up? It's the Animal Sisters. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this fingerboard ramp out of paper. So first what you need is some pieces of paper. Second, you'll need some tape. Then after that, you'll need some scissors and some brick pieces of paper. So let's get on with the video. So first, get out your first piece of paper. And what I need you to do is fold the paper in half horizontally all right so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect but try your best to make it perfect so what you're gonna do now is open it and it should look kind of like a little book and what you're going to do is you're going to make it look like a door and fold in on the crease like two little doors, like flaps. So you have to line it up on the line. And then you'll flip it over. And you're gonna try to fold it like a little paper airplane like you know how you make them go in like a paper airplane so you'll do that to both sides then you're gonna flip the paper over again um, make the flaps go out like this then open the door and make it um, vertical and you're gonna fold um, in the two sides like this you just push and then I'll just um, just go that way it'll just automatically do it basically and then you want to crease it there and do the same thing with the other side. And once you do that, you're just gonna fold this part right here. And it'll kinda look like a trapezoid. And then you wanna do the same thing to the other side. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of um, make it break in half like this and then make sure it lines up with the other trapezoid and crease everything. And then you're gonna open it and you'll see these four triangles. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna fold in the triangles like this. Let me show you. All right, like that. And then you'll do that with all four of the triangles. Just fold them in like this. All right, once you got it folded, this is the hardest part. You gotta make it look like the ramp. So, you're basically just going to make it um, look like that in the end. Let me show you how to do that. Alright, so you see that opening? We got to put the other triangle in that opening. Alright, so what you'll do is... Um, wait, it won't go that way. You op like you make it fold like that. And from under, make the triangle just go through like that. Then you push it in. And you got one side of the ramp done. Now you just need to do the other side. Just do the same exact thing. So just push it in. And you got your ramp. So now what you need to do so it doesn't come apart, you need to... Um, grab some tape and you see it's crooked um we'll fix that all in the end all right let me get the tape 
All right, so you're just gonna tape the top part, the sides, and just do that to the whole little ramp. Just tape the top part like this. Now you got your first ramp and now you have to make about like some five more of those so you'll have like six in total. So I'm going to fast forward through everything and see you when I have six in total. Okay so get three of the six out and what you're going to do is you're going to take them together to make this little triangle base. And you need to get your tape out and what you're going to do is you're going to tape the two bottom bases together. So turn them upside down and you're gonna tape that line together. So you're gonna put the tape on horizontally and vertically just so it won't come apart. Put a bunch of tape so it can stick together. All right, so once that you stack the two together, put the third one on top. So you just need to tape it on top just like that. Okay, so once you have it taped together like this, um, tape the inside like under it so it could be extra protected. You don't have to do this, but I recommend you to do it. So now that you have the first space, you need to have the second one. Once that you have the second one, what you need to do is tape both of the triangle bases together. Once you finish taping everything together, what you need to do is get the brick paper. Okay, so get the first piece of brick paper and see how you want to fit the brick um, paper onto the ramp. See, that looks good. Looks pretty good, like that. So then what we need to do is cut it to the right size and tape it on to the ramp. You guys may be wondering why I use this X-Acto cutter, it's because I'm not very good at cutting with scissors so I just decided to do that instead. You guys see that I cut out this little piece of paper, it's because I, um, I cut it a little bit too short so I have to have a little bit of more of the brick. So I'm just cutting a little piece so you can barely even tell that I ran out of paper once I finish it. Okay so I taped it on the extra piece and now it's barely even noticeable that I even um, had a extra white space now. So now you're basically almost done with your ramp. Now you can just like do finishing touches if you want with the sides you can cover it with the brick I'm choosing not to do that if you want you can cut the sides so they're even with each other but you don't have to do any of that but I'm gonna cut it so it's even so I'm gonna fast forward until I finish cutting mm -hmm. 